Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about the gear that I currently have. So it's January 2020 and uh, this is where I currently use to shoot sports. So first of all, the bag is dirty but that's because it's been used. Now this is a very simple bag by Case Logic, I believe. It's not my ideal bag but it's the one I had to buy at the time when my previous one just went completely bust. I was out of the country and I needed to protect my gear and bring it back home so very simple, nothing to it. Um, so let's start with the bodies. So first off, my Canon 60 Mark II full frame with a grip. Uh, it's Canon's entry level full frame. Now it's not necessarily a sports camera. It's not a sports uh, camera, but it does the job just fine. In fact, it, it took one of my favorite uh, pictures from last year, which I'll show right now. And um, hopefully, I'll be talking about this picture in a future video and you'll understand why then. So this would be the, the camera that I use for action that's close to me. Um, then I have a crop sensor camera, the ADD. Now, it's nothing special, but it gives me the extra reach. Obviously, if I could have better, I would like the 90D, faster um, FPS but uh, it does the job just fine as well. So two camera bodies, oh, nice there. And then the lenses. So this is the 70-200 f2.8 Mark II. It's by far the best piece of equipment I have. It goes on the 60 Mark II. So the range will actually be 70 to 200. And it goes right there. And then on the ADD, I have the Canon 100 to 400 variable aperture. Uh, 4.5 to 5.6 Mark II. Now, granted for um, nighttime games, it's not a good camera because it's slow, but I do a lot of daytime sports and for that just fine. Obviously the bokeh is not the same as the other one, but quality wise, image quality is perfectly capable. It's a very nice piece of glass. And on the ADD, the reach is even higher. So it'll be like 160 to 540 or something like that. Anyway, it's 100 to 400 times 1.6. And then I also have the Canon 2470 f4. Um, it's not the 2.8, but it's, uh, it's a very good lens. Uh, not too slow, not too fast, but the quality is amazing. Here, I can see the bag is pretty much full. And then I have bits and pieces like tape. You always want to have tape, rocket blower. And I also have a few uh, protection um, covers for the lenses. I have a video on those. These are very cheap, but they do the job just fine. They're just disposable. They don't last that long. Some cloth for the lenses as well. Cable ties, always handy. And then at the back, I usually have some towels to dry stuff up. Very simple. I have another one by um, Pink Tank, no, Vanguard for the lens. I haven't tested it out yet. Maybe I'll do a video about it in the future once I do. And last but not least, I have my Elements uh, Manfrotto tripod, which I don't use as a tripod. I just, one of the legs just comes off eventually. It will come off and you put the, the ball head on top and it becomes a very nice model pod. So you can extend it as much as you want. And it's very nice. So this is it. Now, what's in my bag videos? Those aren't necessarily very entertaining, but it's a good reminder if you look back, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, just to, to see what gear you have in one year and compare it to the next and to the next and see how you progress. Obviously, money is an issue when you need to upgrade, but if you can upgrade, you always will. I think all of us want better gear, um, but the most important thing is to make good use of the gear that you have have fun shooting so see you guys on the next video